What's up YouTube? Welcome back to the Gold Guy YouTube channel. Today I'm going to teach you guys how to tune your carburetors on your old inline four cylinder bike. Or any carburetor for that matter. So first of all, the first thing you have to do is remove the air filters. And next up you got to remove your carburetors from the bike. Okay guys, there we go. Let's get in the shop and talk about tuning your carburetors. Okay guys, so we're in the shop, we got the carburetors off the bike thanks to editing magic. And I'm finally making this video, I know this can be confusing for a lot of you guys, you newcomers, people first coming into the world of uh, old motorcycles, or any motorcycles for that matter. A lot, or most motorcycles have carburetors, even new ones uh, haven't went fuel injected yet, which... I don't understand why, but we still got to deal with carburetors, guys, so I'm going to teach you how to tune them. So in the world of carburetors, there's only really one thing, or I guess two things you can do to uh, improve them. Two main things, more air and more fuel. So the two things you need to do are put on some pod air filters like you saw on my bike, like I put on all my bikes, and then to accompany that modification you need bigger main fuel jets and maybe some bigger pilot jets but we'll talk about that later so guys i have a little known secret to tuning your carburetors i kind of found this out on my own i don't know if anyone knows this i don't know if anyone else does it this exact way but hey i'm gonna share it with you guys because that's what i do on this youtube channel i share stuff with you guys that's the whole point of it so are you ready for it? Are you ready for my secret? I don't know if you are. Can you handle it? Well, I think you can. Let's show you. Here is my secret, guys. Can you guess what it is? Comment down below what do you think is in here. If you have no clue, then I'll show you. So here it is, guys. We've got a set of drill bits. 1.05 millimeter to 2 millimeter. All these different bits and this is my secret in jetting carburetors, or tuning carburetors. I know what you're thinking, guys. Drill bits? Come on, how's that a secret? We all know about drill bits. Well, the usage of these drill bits is my secret. The most important part of this drill bit set is that it goes in increments of 0.5 millimeters. So it starts off 1.05 millimeters, 1.1 millimeter, 1.15, 1.2, and so on. So, you're gonna use these steps as increments in tuning your jets. So, to jet carburetors my way, the way that I'm teaching you guys, you're going to need a drill bit set just like this one. The best one to get is one that goes in small increments, such as 0.5 of a millimeter. And then, you're also going to need a chart just like this one. So this chart shows actual drill bit sizes in inch and metric compared to metric jet sizes which are usually stamped on your jets. I've included a link to this exact chart down below. Check it out, it'll help out tons. So really guys, there are two ways to jet a carburetor. You can buy an actual jet kit online which comes with the bigger jets. <coughs> it usually comes with a bigger pilot jet. Uh, maybe some random springs and some other, uh, maybe some drill bits or something to drill out the throttle slides. And it comes with some instructions. Those can be nice if it's the first time doing it. I've done it both ways. And in my experience, it's much easier just to drill out your main jets to make them bigger. And it costs a whole lot less. I think I got this drill bit set for like... I don't know, a few dollars, maybe like five bucks or something, and that's all you need. And then you can buy a replacement set of your stock jets, just so you have them, just in case, uh, just in case the drilling drilling them doesn't work out, or if you accidentally drill them too big or something, you always have a backup to fall back on. 
So let's go ahead and take my carbs apart for my GS850 because I actually uh, tune them too rich so the jets are way too big and they're running too rich which is convenient because I can fix that and make this video at the same time. So first of all to get to the jets we got to remove the bowls on the bottom of the carburetors. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay guys, there we go. We've got the main jets exposed. The pilot jets, just so you guys know, are always lower than the main jets. And they're sometimes under a little black rubber cap like they are on my bike. So you gotta use a really skinny flathead screwdriver to get to those. I'm not gonna take mine out because I know that I have my pilot jets jetted right. For right now guys, let's take these main jets out because I have these jetted out at like 180 which is really big and it's too rich so I'm gonna replace them with uh, 170. I'm gonna have to drill them out still but... So the best part about doing it this way instead of just buying a jet kit is that you can actually tune your carburetors and your bike yourself. You can go up one drill bit at a time and find out exactly what size main jet is perfect for your bike. So there are a couple different ways to tell if your bike's running lean or rich. And the way to tell if you're running too lean is to pull in the choke and if it runs better with the choke on when you're riding your bike then it is getting too much air and not enough gas. And another way to tell if your bike's running too rich, just uh, do a burnout. And if you see a ton of black smoke or black stuff coming out of the exhaust, that means it's too rich, it's burning way too much fuel and it's just pushing it out of the exhaust pipe. Uh, so yeah, that's how, <laughs> funny story, that's how I know that my bike's running rich. Uh, black smoke is an indicator of too much fuel. You gotta just learn the different characteristics of lean and rich running. You can also check your spark plugs. All right, so since 1.70 is way too rich, we're gonna pop that one back in the case and pull out 1.60 drill bit. We're gonna get our smaller backup jets and we're gonna just drill them out. So the easiest way I have found to do this is to just get a power drill. Put your drill bit in there, then get your jet, hold it up to the drill bit, start spinning it. You might need some pliers to do this or just hold on really tight. So there you go. Just like that, I drilled through it. It's not super precise, but if all you have is a power drill, then this is the best way to do it. If you have a drill press, then that's probably the better option. But I'm, I have a power drill as well, so I'm gonna show you that way. So let's go ahead and drill out the other ones. You just have to be careful not to wiggle it too much because that'll make the hole bigger than you intended on making it. One to go. So that's it guys, I got all of my main jets drilled out to 1.60 uh, millimeters or 160 main jet size. And it kind of scares a lot of people to take your jets and a drill and just kind of be a little barbaric and just drill them out. I know a lot of people tend to go on and buy the jet kits, but trust me guys, the jet kits online are kind of a waste of money. I kind of think they're a little bit bullshit because all I needed to do this, an extra set of jets, or if you're brave, you could just use the one set of jets you have for your motorcycle, a power drill or anything that spins, and a drill bit set, a metric drill bit set. The best way to go, I got this on eBay for like five bucks. And then use that chart that I showed you, and that's pretty much it. Let's put these back in the carbs, let's put the carbs back on the bike, and let's test it out. Well, there we go. Oh, my dual sport tires love that, guys. But my bike is running a whole lot better. Bike is tuned much better now. 
Oh, there's the actual burnout mark from the last one that I did with the black smoke. Too rich. Now that my bike's finally tuned properly, it took me a while. Trust me, guys. In the game of tuning, it is 98.98% trial and error, which means it's not going to work the first time. It's going to take a few times. You guys have no idea how many times I've had these carbs off the bike and in my shop opened up probably at least 20 or 30 times. So I know how hard it is guys to get the fuel and air mixture right. On these old inline four bikes or any old bike in general. So if you guys have any more questions, please don't hesitate to comment them down below. I would love to help you guys. That's why I made this video because I know it took me uh, a couple years to figure out how to do this. So check out the drill bit set in the description down below. I'll put a link to the picture of the uh, drill bit chart size chart and the jet size chart and use those resources and trust me, you will have a fine job. Don't buy a jet kit. Honestly, I think they're kind of a waste of money. Don't buy one, just do it yourself. Thanks for watching guys. Please subscribe guys if you haven't already. It helps me out a bunch with making new videos. Like the video if you learned something. Comment down below and I'll see you guys next time. So peace out.